Hello everybody, um, I'm doing a review of Masters of the Air, episode 8. There's only one more episode left. And man, what an episode. It was excellent. It uh, opened up with the Tuskegee Airmen, which um, I, I was watching with my dad and he was kind of confused because I was bringing up the movie Red Tails, which I really like and I think my family really liked. Um, but he was mixing up the movie and the TV show. So I'm like, no dad, they're two different things. One was a TV show, one was a movie. But um, it opened up with the Tuskegee Airmen who, um, just awesome stuff, awesome part of history. If you don't know about it, it's uh, black um, fighter pilots that, um, that were in World War II. And you know, there was a lot of racism going on back then, but uh, the story that I was told when Red Tails came out by the um, documentaries and stuff was that, you know, during the war they were like heroes and then when they came back to like the South, they were like treated with racism and, you know, all kinds of bad stuff. So. I mean, it's a really interesting story. George Lucas was planning on doing a before they went off to war kind of thing and showing you all the racism before they went off to war. Then when they were in the war, that would have been the movie we got. And then after the war, the way they were treated. So it would have been like a trilogy. And I really think that would have been cool to do. I wish they could have done that, but I guess um, the studios and stuff didn't want to fund, fund a trilogy about the Tuskegee Airmen. Because even though the movie was made in the 2000s, it, you know, I mean, there's still some trepidation about about race and doing a movie like that. And and some racist thinking in the studio heads and stuff that, that wouldn't let that happen. But yeah, that it opens up with the Tuskegee Airmen and then it goes, to um, Crosby and, and his stress levels and everything and what he's going through and and then it goes from that to the, the POW camp that the the Nazi POW camp uh, where the Americans are being held and then they they go back to the Tuskegee Airmen they're going to do a mission um, to France and it, they basically don't make a, a, a few of them don't make it back they, they have to crash land in, in Nazi Germany and they get taken to the POW camp and then in the POW camp they're planning a, an escape because the Russians are advancing on Germany and um, fighting the Germans so it's going to give them an opportunity to try to escape and then um, Crosby uh, finally meets up what he thinks he's going to meet up with uh, uh, that uh, female British officer that he was having a relationship with and turns out that she's like, nope, can't hang out with you anymore. It was nice while it lasted, basically, but you got a wife that you got to go home to and you got to finish up the war and all that stuff. So he was dejected and then he's got to go on leave now to relax a little bit, a little R&R &R in New York City. Chris was going to meet up with his wife. Um, Sure, it's gonna not tell her probably about it. It's gonna be a little awkward though. Um, I don't know if they're gonna show that because the next episode looks just gonna be like the Great Escape kind of episode, which was I think a really good movie and possibly a book. Um, and what was that about? Was the Great Escape about Alcatraz? I think it was, but I'm not sure. Sounds like it was about Alcatraz. I might be uh, mixing things up here. But, um, so, and then it, en it ends with um, them in the camp getting, hearing stories on the radio about, or hearing things on the radio about how they're going to make this daring, how the Russians are advancing and they made it into Germany and they're like, it's getting close, we got to get ready to, to make our move. They're basically going to attack the guards. They're going to all uh, attack the guards and, and just escape, basically. And uh, I saw coming attractions for the next episode. It, it looks like they even get some aid or something, or maybe one of them gets a hold of a plane and starts shooting the guards and stuff with the plane. I don't know if that's like the Russians or is that 
because we got a couple of pilots, we got a few, some, some pilots amongst amongst the prisoners. So maybe one of them somehow commandeers a plane and they use that to uh, escape. I don't know, but it's going to be really interesting. Um, I'm sad to see the show come to an end. It's going to be uh, one more episode on the 15th of February. So I'm sad to see it go, but I really think what they really should do if Spielberg really wants to, like, round it out, he did the, um, the 101st Airborne Division for, um, his first, his first show. Then he did the Pacific. Then he did, which was the, um, Japanese War. Um, that it was part of World War II. Then he, now he's doing Masters of the Air. So, you know, you either go to boats next, you either do, like, the Navy which could be cool, and I'm sure he'll do that eventually if he has time to do it. Or maybe do a whole show on the Tuskegee Airmen. I think that could be really cool. Unless you want to say that the Tuskegee Airmen, you had Red Tails, now you have t t two episodes with Tuskegee Airmen stuff. So maybe you feel like you've kind of done that already. But I think that would be a really cool show. You could stretch that out to like eight or nine episodes and do a whole show on like the, the Tuskegee Airmen. But so you got that as an option, or maybe um, the the Air Force or something would be would be cool. No, no, not Air Force. I'm sorry, uh, my bad. I'm not thinking. I'm just paying attention to something out the window that I'm looking at. Can't quite tell what it is. I think it's a lawn mowing crow. Um, what I meant was the um, Navy. We could do like a Navy one, like like boats and stuff. That'd be kind of cool. So. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. I'm kind of going to keep this one short because um, it actually looks like it might rain. I don't know. We'll see. But um, talk to you guys later. Uh, happy Friday and uh, later, dudes.